In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for Ca plus FeSO4. This is calcium plus iron 2 sulfate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so we don't have to do that. Next, we can write the state for each substance. Calcium, that's a metal, so just calcium by itself, that'll be solid. Sulfates in general are soluble, this iron 2 sulfate. That's going to be soluble. We'll put AQ for aqueous. For calcium sulfate, though, let's look that up. That might be an exception. So in our solubility chart, we find calcium here and then the sulfate ion. So let's go across and then down. And that SS, that's slightly soluble. A little bit of it will dissolve, but not very much. For the purpose of net ionic equations, when it's slightly soluble, we consider that to be insoluble. So for the calcium, since it's insoluble, we're going to call it a solid. It's going to sink to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Some of it will stay dissolved, but most all of it will be a solid. For iron, that's also going to be a solid. It's just iron metal. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. We can't split calcium apart. It's just calcium. So we're going to just call that calcium. I'll write the states later. For iron 2 sulfate, we know the sulfate, the whole thing is 2 minus, so the iron has to be 2 plus. So we'll have our iron 2 ion, Fe2 plus, and then we'll have our sulfate ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, with net ionic equations, we don't split apart solids. So we're going to keep this as CaSO4. And then again, with the iron, it's just iron. We can't split it apart, so we're going to write Fe. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we'd cross out the spectator ions, the things that are the same on both sides. In this case, there's nothing that's the same. The reactants and the products, everything's different. We have Fe2 plus and then Fe, but Fe2 plus, this is very different than Fe. So in this case, the complete ionic equation is the same as the net ionic equation. Let me clean this up. I'll write the states in. We'll have our complete and net ionic equation for Ca plus FeSO4. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Ca plus FeSO4. You'll note that the atoms, they all add up on both sides. So the atoms are balanced and the charge is balanced too. We have a 2 plus here and we have a 2 minus. That adds up to a net charge of 0 for the reactants. Products are neutral. Net charge is 0 as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for calcium plus iron 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.